Seven years ago, I uh, lost both of my kidneys to polycystic kidney disease. I didn't have any kidneys for about a year and until I got a transplant. That's been about six years now. But I kind of used that as a uh, means to focus my collecting to uh, bottles with, or mostly embossed with the word kidney. There's a few paper labels, but uh, most of them are embossed. One piece that I picked up uh, several years ago was the Oregon Kidney Tea. It's the amber bottle in the back. I uh, uh, like that one because just because I drink tea, but um, it's also very, very difficult to find out. I've not seen another one. About two years after I picked that one up, I saw the box of kidney tea and uh, as, as a go-with. Um, last year, the, um, uh, the people from Oregon and the, and the county that's made of, they're doing a, a historical paper, and they asked permission to take pictures of these bottles and include them in the paper, so it was published back then. That was about a year ago. Okay, the middle four bottles here are all uh, kidney gin bottles. During Prohibition, uh, of course, they say all of alcohol was, uh, was prohibited. So what they do is they put them in, uh, uh, they put kidney gin as a medicinal type of stuff, and, and they get away with it and sell it that way. So these four are from that era. Okay, these four um, paper label bottles are, are not that difficult to find. The one on the left is uh, Winthrop's kidney tea. Uh, what makes that one unusual is the fact that it's still full and sealed and I have not seen another one like that one. The uh, next one over, the Miller's Liver Kid. Uh, the first one I found on that one, it just was said Liver Kid. I assumed it would have meant liver and kidney disease stuff, but it is a radiated purple one, and it took me several years before I finally found another one, and now I have this one in the small bottle next to it, are both the uh, Miller's Liver Kid. Uh, the next one over is uh, the Nubian Tea, again, and that one's for kidney and liver. And the, the fourth one over is just a... Uh, um, uh, another uh, kidney tonic that uh, uh, I found paper labeled in, in extremely good condition. I picked up this kit uh, a couple years ago. It's um, it was made in 1905 and it's specifically for uh, doctors working on kidneys. The, um, uh, the little Bunsen burner there and a couple of test tubes on the right hand side, those are all hand blown uh, and complete with all the irregularities and, and bubbles and stuff in them. And um, the one bottle on the left up on the top there is just a, a urine sample thing. And then, uh, here with the focus up on that one, there you go. And then the model of the kidney was actually given to me by the National Kidney Foundation so I could uh, put it up here and, and push for kidney donations.